My name is Ben Butler, and my art is titled The Lay of the Land. My name is Cliff Garton, and I'm standing in front of a piece called Aqua Lapis. My name is Cal Breed, and my artwork is entitled Reflecting the Braille Sky. This piece was inspired by my first visit to Huntsville, recognizing right away the unique topography of not only downtown, but the, the region. This piece was a response to the landscape of Huntsville. People may not know the water that runs from Monte Santo down to Big Spring is basically a line of water which is parallel to the line of this sculpture. So there's this really nice marriage of what's actually happening in the physical landscape and what's happening when you walk up the stairs of the new city hall. The city of Huntsville has always represented to me a city of explorers, adventurers, innovators. Two spaces in my mind that we typically go to are the night sky and a body of water. And so it's a collage of those two spaces, a skin of the universe and then a skin of the water that's been, pebbles have been thrown into it and it's the ripple effect. My name is Guadalupe Lanin Robinson. My piece here at the City Hall is uh, City Escapes, blocks my block. I'm Johnny and my art is Miracle Territory. The main idea with this piece was to represent the agricultural history of Huntsville being a production of cotton. There was a suggestion of doing a quilt and I thought that was a very wise idea so I could put in there the fabric made out of 100% cotton. My preferred media is uh, acrylic paint, charcoal, and Alabama red clay. When I think about how this place started as a, an agricultural city, and now what it is as one of the leaders in space age, industrial, and so many other cutting edge areas, that's a miracle. And when I think about that, that red clay, that dust, I like to look at it as, as magic dust because so, so many great things have come from this area that actually touched the world. My name is Ann Moeller and the name of my piece is The Spark. My name is Shulie Sade. The artwork is Watermarks. I'm Yuri Ozaki. This painting is titled Downtown Huntsville. My name is Cynthia Wagner, and this is my piece, uh, Transformative Soil Terra Firma. It was inspired by what I think makes Huntsville special, which is this spark of intelligence. So if you look you know, through the piece, it features a diverse group of our children, each involved in a symbolic, edifying activity. What I was really trying to in part here with Huntsville, just these kind of interesting moments in Huntsville history. I guess I'm just hoping that I can help keep the enthusiasm for Huntsville alive. A lot of my work is inspired by architecture and urbanism. You know, it's always in transition, so architecture is transitional, just the same as people are. I want the people to feel connected to this painting. I want the people from 50 years old from now or so to look at this painting and feel astonished to how much things has, have changed. Most of my work in the last decade is public art. I find that public art is a really important form of art. Public arts is really uh, important because it's art outside of a gallery or museum and it's just really uh, accessible to people on the street. Once a people begin to become cultured, civilized, uh, forward-thinking, upward-moving, art comes into play. Huntsville's grasping of the need for public art to me is a uh, shows light years of them moving and thinking ahead. I think to any uh, young artist, I would say art is this incredible vehicle for all kinds of ideas and thought and pursuits. To the next generation of artists, I would say to not be fearful, to just enjoy the process. The wandering through your mind and through materials and through interactions with others. It's a great community of people, those that make art and those that love art.